Ciao Giovanni, come va? <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to try to explain this as quickly as I can and why it is um, really completely different. Chain, uh, it's a game changer in a sense, uh, understanding our human condition, our human predicament on earth. In history, we have always talked about, in different ways, about our dichotomy. dichotomy in, our, in us, we've talked about the ego versus the soul, or materialness, I think you just said materialness versus uh, higher consciousness or natural, um, natural mind or, you know, um, and basically when we've expressed these different types, these different kinds of uh, dichotomies, and there have been many, we always do this, we talk about the collective mind versus the individual mind, uh, when we talk about them, we always, we always, what we imply is that this is our condition, this is our starting point. Uh, before that there is nothing. And in other words, this is what God created. A, a problem situation, in other words. A, a some, something that we have to deal with. Something that, is, um, that we're challenged by and are condemned to some kind of difficulty. Just for no reason. The difference and what I'm saying is that it is intentional. The part of our mind, of our brain, of our intelligence, that is logically highly capable was sort of souped up or uh, sort of accelerated or was intentional. And however, whatever way you want to describe it, it was an intentional uh, action by our creators or by God. And so when you separate that as some as being introduced to our more animal natural base part of our intelligence or part of our being, you have an introduced element which creates a relationship before there was no relationship before we just said we have we have these two aspects that we have to work through what i'm saying is that one of those aspects was introduced and it doesn't maybe sound like a big deal but it changes everything because when you gain awareness that first we were trotting along climbing trees and and you know picking fruit and somehow around the time that we started writing and speaking and uh, there was an, you know, and, and, and archaeological evidence seems to indicate that something happened to us. Something all of a sudden got accelerated. And so when something got really uh, suddenly accelerated, it departed leaving another aspect of our intelligence, which is our, for example, our survivalist suspicion, our fear, our, our, um, our selfishness, our, 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 you know, basically that's how it's described. It's, they, they commonly say fear, but it's really more about something's going to get me. I better save myself and run faster or, or, or prepare for a drought or prepare for a tiger that's going to jump out of the jungle, right? That's that fearful creature that we, that evolution made along with all the other animals of the earth that suffer the same kind of worry about being alive on this planet with, with all its threats. To this creature, we all of a sudden gain a consciousness that says that is actually capable of surviving above and beyond all of these aspects of our suspicious, fearful nature. Except that we haven't gotten a grip on this condition yet. We don't see it as something introduced that creates a relationship that we have to learn to handle better. We talk about it as if it just is that way and we have to deal with this unhealable or unchangeable condition. Religions talk about suffering, you know, that we were destined to suffer and got to have compassion and, 
and and uh, and patience and, and and charity and all these ways of uh, dealing with something that is just the way it is. What I am saying is, yes, it is that way, but we can see that it wasn't meant to be a perpetual suffering. It was meant to be a gift that once we acknowledge as it being introduced, then we see we have something to work on. We have, we, and we understand why it fails. We understand why it fails because it is sort of uh, inseparably bound, you know, bound at, bound at the hip. <laughs> the, the older natural part of our uh, suspicious mind. But even though it is bound, inseparable, and part of the singular intelligence that is human being, we, uh, the human being's mind, we can still say, oh, we have a relationship to deal with that is prone to tripping, to not seeing far enough, to thinking selfishly, to being suspicious. That is our condition. That is the condition that we have never embraced. Because, uh, and what I'm trying to say is that once we embrace that and know that we have a a, a perpetual situation to be suspicious, to be selfish, to be short-sighted, to not really care about distributing everything for everybody and not leaving anybody behind, that we're prone to being like that, then we say, watch out, we got to always be checking our primitive nature, because even though we have these big ideas with this new acquired uh, intelligence that has the capacity to no longer have those problems, it is bound by the older part of our intelligence. Seizing that condition is the difference. Seizing that condition is what we have never done before. We've only always talked about it just being that way and there's nothing we can do about it. We have to learn to deal with ego versus, uh, you know, versus um, kindness or whatever. And so we describe these two areas and we just go along with them in a, in a, you know, we don't see a failure that we can do something about. We never really um, have embraced that gift in reality because when you do, you realize, oh my God, we, we are capable longer feeling hunger, uh, curing all diseases, and making a paradise out of the world. We truly are capable of taking care of everybody. Our, uh, we, know, we now have that intelligence, we now have that analysis. We can now think of, hey, is anybody not receiving our, our, our highest, most capable intelligence anywhere in the world? Animals can't do that. Animals can't develop vaccines. Or, or, or have agriculture to, to take care of their, their brethren, you know, uh, uh, animal species in another part of the world. We can, but we don't, we don't see it as something that was given to us. We don't see it as something that we should be immensely grateful about because now we don't have to suffer being in the world anymore. We don't have that joy. We just kind of think, oh, you know, we have this difficult existence. To struggle, we have to struggle against, against ego. ego against against it. It. But uh, do you, I, I, do you, do you understand, understand what the, the difference is? is? Well, well, this, this is, is what, what I'm trying to explain.